we fought for our language, for our nation, and for our democracy, with blood and sweat, with our souls and our lives. Every time we fought, our identity, our culture, or our nation have been at stake. The journey of the University of Dhaka started over 100 years ago. Since then, it has been the melting pot for freethinkers. But along the way, our freedom as Bengalis has been threatened many times. And every time, University of Dhaka has been at the forefront of the revolutions. It started with the language movement in 1948 when the students of University of Dhaka defied Muhammad Ali Jinnah and his imposition of Urdu as the state language. This sowed the seeds for the liberation of the nation. On the night of March 25, 1971, the Pakistani army orchestrated one of the most heinous operations in the history of mankind. And the first point of attack was in University of Dhaka killing students and teachers, teachers who were the nurturer of free thinking. On 25th March, Sharafat Ali, a gold medalist in mathematics from the University of Dhaka and a lecturer of the same department was killed by the Pakistani army on the teacher's campus. On that very night, young 30 years old Onudhapayon Bhattacharjo was also killed by the Pakistani army. He worked as an assistant house tutor in Jagannath Hall and was scheduled to leave for London on 26th March. The library of Jagannath Hall was named after him to preserve his memory. The perpetrators broke into Jaitrimoy Guha Thakurto's residence and shot him. He was the provost of Jagannath Hall and one of the finest scholars of Bengal. He was shot dead in cold blood and died in Dhaka Medical College Hospital on the 30th March 1971. The killing spree went on throughout the night. They shot at anything that moved and the teachers were the main target. To kill the teachers was to kill the minds. On that fateful night, Ataur Rahman Khan Khadim, a lecturer of physics and a specialist in experimental physics, was killed brutally. After midnight on 25th March, Fozlu Rahman Khan, a senior lecturer of the Department of Soil Science, was killed in his own residence. His nephew, who was living at his place, was also killed that night. Muhammad Abdul Muqtadir, a promising young lecturer in geology, lost his life at the cruel hands of the Pakistani military. Operation Searchlight also claimed the life of ANM Munirussaman, the chairperson of the Department of Statistics. The Pakistan army also killed his eldest son, his brother and his nephew. Muhammad Sadiq, the principal of University Laboratory School, was shot dead on that dreadful night at his residence at the university campus. Gobindo Chandra Dev, one of the most prolific philosophers in history, was killed on 26 March 1971. He donated all his property and money to University of Dhaka to further the cause of human welfare and establish truth, justice and human liberty. He was awarded Ekushe Padak posthumously in 1986. Through Operation Searchlight, the Pakistani army aimed to eradicate the minds who would not only fool the fight for freedom, but also when the nation was liberated, they would have been the builders of the nation. The war broke out and over time millions of people were massacred. On April 26, 1971, Mohammad Sadat Ali, the chairman of the Department of Business Administration in Education and Research Institute, was arrested by the Pakistani army while he was coming out of his residence. He was then taken to an unknown place and he was never seen after that. Over the course of nine months, the adversaries killed the backbones of Bengal. Shantosh Chandra Bhattacharjo, the curator of Dhaka Museum, the senior lecturer of the Department of History and one of the finest scholars was killed at the hands of the pro-Pakistani militia. 
Mofasal Haider Chaudhary, an author, a scholar, and a lecturer at University of Dhaka, was picked up by anti-liberation forces and was killed brutally. One of the finest writers of the country and a brilliant teacher, Anwar Pasha, was picked up by the pro-Pakistani militia from his residence on the night of 13th December and was killed on the 14th December brutally along with his colleague SMA Rashidul Hassan, a senior lecturer of Department of English at University of Dhaka. Anwar Pasha was posthumously honored with the Bengal Academy Award for his literary achievements. M. Abul Khair upheld the principles of social justice and cherished the idea of a welfare state and above all the dignity of men and he too couldn't see the light of a free nation. Shirajul Haq Khan joined University of Dhaka as an assistant professor in the Department of Education Administration. On 14 December 1971, Shirajul Haq Khan was abducted by the activists of Al Badr from his residence at University of Dhaka staff quarters. On the same day, when Gyasuddin Ahmed, a dedicated teacher at the Department of History at University of Dhaka, was picked up for the third time from Mohsin Hall, that was the last time anyone has seen him alive. Ahmed's dead body was recovered 20 days later from the Rai Rajar slaughter site. A.N.M. Faisal Mohi was a dedicated teacher in the Institute of Education and Research. He was not vocal about the liberation movement, but he worked from within to help the freedom fighters. The notorious Al Badr group picked him up on 14 December 1971 from his home. Later, his dead body was recovered from the scaffold at Rai Bajar. Mohammad Murtaza, a prolific columnist and award-winning writer, started his career at University of Dhaka as a medical officer. On 14 December 1971, the armed cadres abducted him from his residence. Munir Chaudhary, a Harvard graduate, joined University of Dhaka in 1950, teaching in both English and Bangla departments. In 1952, he was arrested under the Preventive Detention Act for protesting against police repression and the killing of students on 21 February 1952. He declared his solidarity with a non-cooperation movement called Bongo Bondu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman in March 1971 and renounced the title of Sitara e Imtiaz which he had received in 1966. Just two days before the end of the Liberation War, he was kidnapped from his residence in Dhaka and killed by the members of anti-liberation forces. Our oppressors went to all lengths to cripple the nation by killing the genius minds. And they did succeed. But our teachers have taught us to be resilient and to be one with the truth. It is for them that we have this free nation. It is for them we will take our nation to her rightful place and shine over the world.